Now let's get back to the horsemanship challenge. Okay, I've just switched places with Lisa. I just asked her to lope this horse around to the right. I had her left rein. I'll go ahead and tie this left rein up the same way I had it tied up for her, just so she wouldn't be inclined to be pulling on both reins. And as she asked this horse to lope off to the right, this horse added a lot of life, a lot of energy. And to some extent, he was showing signs. He might add maybe a little bit more than just some forward motion. Lisa felt it, so she stopped him right there. So I've changed places here with her so I can have a little better idea of what it feels like and see if I can't help this horse figure out. When we ask you to lope off to the right, if you act like you're going to buck me off, I've got to figure out a way to teach this horse and show this horse that it's not going to work to their advantage. And if I stop every time my horse acts like he's going to buck, then that works out real good for my horse. Now, if I'm not a very confident rider and I don't want to ride my horse while they're bucking, then maybe my best option is to stop. But if we think about what that says to our horse, it works out real good for them. Now, I've crawled up here in her barrel saddle saying I could do this without shortening these stirrups. We'll try and stay on this end of the arena just for the camera's sake. Now, all I'm going to operate here is my inside rein. If he wants to add a bunch of life, I'm just going to flow with it and I'm going to direct it. Okay, you see the tail going? I've got a lot of life. The horse is really dropping his shoulder. But he's, he just acts like he's lost right here. You see that right front leg slip a little bit because he's dropping that shoulder so much. What I want this horse to do is just figure out that he can travel around on this loose rein without speeding up so much. This is hard work when your stirrups are this short to stay in this saddle. Again, I want to go long enough that he gets some time to play around with this and figure out that if he adds more life or acts like he's gonna do something that's not gonna get him out of the work. Now he's starting to relax a little bit. He slowed down on his own. I'm gonna go ahead and bend him here a little bit. Push that hip over. And we'll ride off. Again, right now we're just trying to get Lisa to understand the concept that this horse needs to relax when we add some life so we have the freedom to control these different body parts when we set these barrels up. Now what I've felt since I got up here, this horse leans on us more than what it looks like. When we bring this horse's nose around and try and push that hip over, he leans on us more with that rein than what it looks like when, when we watch Lisa do it. So we need to get this horse a little softer off that rein, give him the idea to get softer on my leg. I'm bringing my leg clear back behind that back cinch. I touch him with my spur. He doesn't move off that, I'll bump him with it. You see that hip step over right there? Now he livened up with the hip. Lisa, right there, he livened up with that hip, but he did it in a lateral direction. He didn't trot out of it forward. He livened up and moved that hip off of me. Okay, that's what we're trying to get him to do when we push that spot. Liven that up, stay soft on that leg, but it's this direction. I can hardly get my leg back there with the stirrups these short. Now, as I asked for a little more life right there, Lisa, what you notice this horse do is he switches his tail at me. That 
hip elevated a little bit where he might have been close to even kicking with that inside leg just to get my leg to go away. There's places in there when we ask for that hip to move over, he's fussing about it. He wastes time, he wastes effort complaining about the fact that I just asked that hip to move over. Okay, there he's adding a lot of life. You see how that shoulder's really yeah. lean to the inside? I'm gonna pick the nose up here, and all I'm asking for is the hip to go there. But here's what he's starting to figure out. He can't turn loose of that until he stands back up. He's gotta straighten back up. He can't stay leaned with that shoulder to the inside and turn loose of that. He can't do it. So that's why he's so much worse. So when I pick up on him and he's in that position, he has the advantage. I might get something, I might not. Chances are I'm not gonna get anything. Right. But I have to exaggerate it to that degree for him to finally turn loose of that. Now, what you hear me doing this time is I continue, I'm still smooching to him. Again, I'm gauging how much I do there as to what I feel I'm capable of doing and still being safe, okay? If right. he felt like he was gonna get light in the front end, I might turn loose of that and get him going forward again, okay? Pick up here, push the hip. Now you see how smooth and fluid it was on that side? When I was pushing, I'm just touching with my spur and that hip never was just leaning against me. Okay, but he kept his forward motion so everything stayed fluid. You lose your forward motion going around the barrel, what happens? He locks up and stalls out. But here's the good news. It was worse a little bit ago on this side. Right. Now it's better on this side, worse on this side. So maybe right now you've got a really good first barrel <laughs> and a horrible second and third. <laughs> but here's what, as you start to play around and you find these places where your horse is stuck, you'll see your horse start to change where he's better on this side and then he ends up better on this side, worse on this side. And right. he bounces back and forth as he's working through this. Completely turn loose of the reins and what's he doing? He's backing up. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm sitting up here, he doesn't know me from Adam and I'm asking for more life than he's used to. That's why I see this. Okay, but that shows the frame of mind my horse is in when I say, I don't like that, and I'd like to make that better so I can win 95% of the time and not just 75% of the time, okay? We'll be right back. Stay tuned. <laughs> 